Hey, happy, 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 beautiful, amazing day. Dr. Bob Rakowski here, July 5, 2020, with a science fact and history update. So you look at some of the greatest leaders, people that had the ability to lead and influence of all time, uh, it's fascinating that these five guys actually hit the leaderboard, right? They were in phenomenally uh, influential. So they had some specific tools, but you know what? Something was very, very wrong between their ears, and it's hard to imagine that they knew what pathological liars and scumbags they were. But take a look at the death tolls from all these people. I think Stalin was estimated to be the top killer, 50 plus million people deaths, Mao Zedong, 40 million, Hitler, I was, I was shocked, only 20 million they're saying, there, maybe there's a little more than that going on. Um, but you know, they had some kind of ideology, like maybe health is not inside your body, but health is science, health is the drugs, uh, maybe a single mass party. Thank God we have a two party system, but you'll look, there's one party that has a phenomenal increase in the number of deaths in their states under their leadership. And in fact, they even put sick people in nursing homes, a, a system of terror. Hey, this virus is going to kill you. It's going to kill you. It's going to kill you. It's going to kill you. Uh, when that isn't the case, you know, uh, we've got world renowned statisticians saying it's more dangerous if you're under the age of 65 to drive to work than to be killed by uh, COVID. Monopoly of weapons, how about media? Monopoly of communication. Look at the censorship that's going on. And then there's some central planning, right? But you got the whole world collaborating on lies, or at least a, a big portion. I'm so glad that the World Health Organization has a few honest people saying, look, if you're healthy, this virus is not a risk. If you're healthy, you can't even spread this virus. We've done contact tracing. Uh, it's rare to non-existent. So what is going on out here? So again, world-renowned statisticians say corona deaths are the tip of the iceberg. You know, I've seen iceberg pictures where they say 95% of the iceberg is below the water. 95% of the deaths will be from the policies. But go to livestats.com USA. Go to macrotrends.net. You'll see that we have a defined death rate for the U.S. at 2020. Um, you'll see that we can take our U.S. population to the moment, the number of days gone for the year, the percentage of year that's gone, and figure that out. Uh, even with all the crap that's going on, even with all the suicides, which I know of far more suicides. I don't know anybody personally that died from COVID um, at all. But I, I'm now aware of many, many suicides that have happened. Why? Because people lost their, their business. They lost their hope. They were indulging in, in substances, which is going on all over the world. Uh, and, and for what reason? That's the real question. So, you know, we start looking at the data and it's, it's beyond ridiculous. But what do we see with respiratory issues, respiratory infections? They start in winter, they peak, and they're gone by summer. And that's what happened here. But they said, no, no, let's spread this thing out. Well, let's also look at what we're doing. We peaked uh, much, much later here in the U.S., but the decline, the decline, decline. And how did this spike happen? Um, you know, did suddenly, uh, you know, 2,500 people get infected with COVID and they go, oh, yeah, we're going to, you know, they're all going to die on one day, uh, as opposed to a much, much, much lower number. Or could it be that they stockpiled that data and promoted all in one day as a fear tactic? So if the country's getting better, 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 should you be afraid? Well, less and less and less, fewer, fewer people afraid, oh, let's spike something. Uh, that's not natural. That does not fit the curb. No explanation for a single day spike except tainted data. I spread it out there. Uh, so that you can see it more clearly. Same graph, just a little expanded access. It doesn't make sense. Smooth downtrend, downtrend, downtrend. Oop, let's make some news. So what has been the advice all along? Well, if you're in the bottom percentile, the bottom percentile of our population in terms of health and resilience, uh, by the way, if you're 85 years old, are you in the bottom percentile? Well, 
might be a hard pill to swallow, but you're more vulnerable. Um, but I know 85 year olds, I've had 85 year olds come into my office. They go, this is stupid. I'm not wearing a mask. My gosh, my immune system has been through a lot worse than this 0.26%. Why aren't people getting it? Why didn't people get it when these guys were in charge? You know, you tell a lie long enough, strong enough, you get enough force behind it and people will buy the lie. But here's the truth. Here's the death rate. This one here, I'm calling that a lie. But you got people that have got on TV and said, yeah, I lied. I lied. I lied. So what? I lied. I'll do it again. I lied. I'll do it again. Right? Go watch the Dr. Fauci I lied YouTube video. Uh, whose choice is it what you inject into your body or your children? Why would we inject anything in the children? I want you to think about that. Does that make any sense at all? Injecting kids, especially moments after birth? I'm gonna encourage you to look into that and when you find something, share it. There are people that are so blind that they can't see the truth. Uh, don't, I don't get that, but that's always been the case. People are blind, but we can lead the blind, but you know, we don't have the blind leading the blind, we've got the diabolical leading the blind. Crime, money, power, drugs, they're all linked. Uh, check it out, right? Are there drugs in this? Yeah. Power, yeah. Money, tons of it, tons of it, tons of it in taking people's freedom. And terrorism, that's a crime. I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski, truth seeker, truth speaker, absolutely knowing that we can all be happy, healthy, and successful.